Kikuchi360 here, and in this Microsoft Flight Sim video, I fly the new Chinook in beautiful Alberta, Canada, trying out one of the included firefighting missions, dumping lake water on a wildfire. So hopefully, I'll be successful. Stick around and find out. All right, so our uh, mission is active down here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, load the buckets. So the buckets spawn over there. Uh, giving us the uh, hook middle here. I'm gonna turn our track IR on. I got the settings dialed in a little bit more. We'll give her a shot in this mission. Alright, so we're set to mid. Uh, let's see here. Yep, parking brakes off. And we'll go ahead and uh, take off and pick up this bucket. It's tricky picking these things up. So this thing uh, seems to be susceptible to some uh, high speed, so we'll uh, make sure we don't overspeed this and get, you know, lose our basket. So we're flying uh, 267 heading. We already have everything programmed to do our head hill GPS down there. Yeah, we'll just uh, enjoy the scenery as we uh, travel on to uh, Lake Minnewaka. <laughs> to go pick up the water near the fire and uh, try to put this thing out and see what this mission is all about. Alright, well we're approaching Ghost Lake up here in front of us, which is a part of the uh, Bow River. And uh, we'll travel that up to the left up here, up uh, to Canmore Valley. And uh, once we uh, get near Banff Airfield, the fires should be visible to the north of the airfield. And uh, here we are passing a Lafarge Exhaw cement plant, heading up towards uh, Canmore Valley. on the fire. There it is inside the mountain right there. Alright. That's pretty cool. Alright, so this is Lake, uh, I believe it's called, pronounced Minnewaka, not really sure. So, we're going to come around this, uh, Mountain range right here and go in here and uh, scoop up the water from here and then uh, be putting that fire out right there. Alright, so we're going to attempt to pick up some water from the lake here. says you pretty much have to hover around three seconds. Um, you're like 
20 to 40 feet off the ground or off the water. So we will attempt to do this. It's kind of hard to judge yourself over water. Like how fast you're actually moving. Alright, let's try to dip this bucket into the lake here and fill her up. Oh, alright, looks like water's in there. It doesn't really give you a uh, notification in the cockpit here at all. Unless there's another screen I'm not familiar with. Alright, so we will, uh... Slowly go up to the uh, fire here. And make sure we don't make any aggressive moves. A little bit of rudder to rotate this thing around. So now in the manual it said um, you have to be uh, below 20 knots in order for the water to automatically dump when you're over the fire. So uh, yeah, we'll make our way up to the mountain up there and uh, try to put these fires out. Right, we're uh, approaching the fire here for our first drop. We'll see how this thing goes. Just trying to get her all lined up and try to maintain uh, right around 20 knots here. Looks like uh, for as long as you're above it. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, looks like the bucket is empty again. I don't see any water in there. Let's see how many uh, tries it takes to get this fire out. Okay, let's uh, head back down to the lake get some more water. lost uh, track of how far I was dropping, but it looks like we uh, <laughs> successfully got some water in there. Oh man, it's always hard to judge yourself over the water. I'll try to bring our speed down, gain altitude at the same time. now. Let's line up the fire. Sit around 20 knots. Is a, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of slow, but that's what the manual says. Then around 40 knots, 35. right there. Let's try to keep this right there. Yeah, a tiny bit below 20. Keep this exact path. And it looks like we successfully put that fire out actually. <laughs> Back to the lake we go. Thank God it's close. Oh yeah, much better. Add some collective in. And same thing. Slowly get in uh, some rudder here. So. Ok, 
Okay, let's put this little guy out. Let's uh, get her down here around uh, 20 knots here. That's where you got to keep it, you know, within uh, 400 feet above the ground as well. Successful fire put out. We got one left over there. Let's swim back down to the lake. Ah, uh, there it goes. So when you go too fast, it'll uh, break the sling. And uh, yeah, we're going up around 120, 140. got to be real careful on uh, on that. Let's see here. Where can we spawn another one? Let's try to land down here and spawn one. spawns to the left of you when you spawn it in, so you know, give yourself a little bit of room. Nice rolling landing on the brakes. Respawn this bucket. Yep, there it is. Alright. Just gonna pick it back up. Last bucket filled up. Go on, spin her around. Okay, let's uh, line up for this last little fire here. Put this thing out. Okay, we're at 50 knots now. Let's try to bring our airspeed down. Alright, we're all lined up. Doing 25 knots. As we get closer over, I'll go and pitch up to arrest the forward speed to get it back down to around 20. Right there.
and uh, that little hotspot has been extinguished. Okay, a little bit of left rudder here, spin this thing around. Man, that's a gorgeous view of this valley here. Awesome. Mission 1 is a success here in uh, Alberta, Canada, near the uh, town of Banff. Looks like we uh, extinguished all the fires here. And uh, I'm not going to bore you with the flight back. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me put these fires out in the Chinook. And uh, like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Come and be my virtual wingman. Later.